Hey guys, this is Metamaster21 and uh, as most of you know, Uprising the new DLC for Black Ops 2 is coming out soon and with it of course uh, also the new zombie map which is called Mob of the Dead and there was actually a lot of information about this new zombies map and uh, maybe you missed a couple of uh, info so here is all the information uh, just in one video as you can see on the leaderboards I was trying to go to the theater mode uh, to uh, watch the gameplay because there are already three people on there but it didn't let me because obviously I don't have the map pack yet but uh, as you can see grief uh, is coming back as well and I'm not gonna be doing analysis through this uh, video, I'm just gonna let you play the whole thing. And uh, if you're looking for achievements, uh, you can find them uh, in the description, there's a link that contains uh, a list of all of them. And uh, if you read a prefer video about that, um, I suggest uh, Mr. Dalek JD has a pretty good video, I'll leave a link to his channel as well. So without further talking, I'm just gonna leave you with this video to enjoy. Bye! We wanted to take the story somewhere new and change the vibe. We were embracing this idea of horror thriller. So then we went to Alcatraz. Alcatraz has had so many different incarnations. We can start playing with the history there. So you've got like the 1920s going into the 1930s. Got the Prohibition area coming in there. So that then breeds certain characters that you only see in that time period. But that's what led us to getting guys like Ray Liotta, Chas Palmentari. Joe Pazliano and Michael Madsen. Those characters make this mob of the dead. It was a challenge to try and capture something as iconic as Alcatraz. You know about this. This is arguably the most famous prison in the world. And now you're in it. Just the space, you know, the physicality of it, because it's quite claustrophobic. When modern day prisons are designed, they really consider not intimidating people or making the spaces, you know, as, as least stressful as possible. Well, Alcatraz didn't suffer from those restrictions. They did the research, they went out, studied Alcatraz, not just from books or internet. They were actually there to feel the environment, so it really sets a mood that gets you a little f spooked. Well, we kind of started with the base layout of Alcatraz. The entire island we ended up roughing out uh, in kind of a white box form, and then figuring out what play spaces we wanted to use out of that, what would be the most interesting areas to play in, and the connections between spaces, and spaces that the public doesn't necessarily get to go into. We really did a lot of pushing to, to, to really enhance that psychological horror aspect that we're really looking for. And this is a really good opportunity to really tell something special. Like you got stuck right through the gates to hell! This time around, I feel like it's been identified that there are these side missions that you're going to go out and try to accomplish. Al and the rest of the groups put together this escape plan. But the point is to get the parts and assemble this plane so they can get off the island. We did something new for the first time. We have actually contextual music that goes off. So that's, the, that's the first for zombies. Um, and it's all based around this horror thriller aspect. Every location will have a specific stinger that you hear when you find it, when you discover it, when you start unraveling the story, we, we start building on the music that you're hearing. And it's really enhancing that experience and going along with it in parallel. Because we wanted to embrace this kind of horror thriller element, we wanted character actors, guys who could really embody someone and then convey emotion. So that's why we went for guys like Ray Liotta, getting in that kind of guy, you know, we wanted the frantic nature, so he plays a character called uh, Billy Handsome, who's this kind of psychopath who would be employed by the mob to kill people in interesting ways. Chaz Palmentari, he plays a guy called Sal DeLuca, an old mob boss. 
Michael Madsen playing Finn O'Leary. He's kind of worked himself from the floor, you know, from the streets. He's got his hands dirty and the blood in the guts a couple of times. And then we had Joe Pantolano, and he plays Arthur Arlington, who's uh, he's nicknamed the Weasel. Those guys, they bring a quality and a subtlety and timing that you can't really identify or try to recreate. Bring it on! It's our fans! You start off in the afterlife mode, and that's just going to be you know, what's going on. You're going to try to solve the, the mystery from the second you start. Afterlife, to me, brings a new element, like a new puzzle element. It forces me to think a little bit more or look for the clues or kind of think of zombies on slightly deeper level. You see clues throughout the map that tell you, ooh, perhaps if I'm in the afterlife, I can interact with this object, or there's some puzzle going on here that I need to be in the afterlife. Back east, I whacked a dirty dentist with one of these. Took forever, too. Alcatraz has a, a civil war kind of fought background before it turned into a penitentiary. And so we had this kind of backstory, the idea that the warden would have collected civil war weapon. One of them is, uh, is a blundergat. It's a, it's a fictional weapon, but the idea of the, the combination between a, a blunderbuss and a, and a Gatling gun. And possibly, there might be a way of upgrading it to a more uh, fantastical weapon that the, the players may find. You don't gotta go sometime. You just went now. There's uh, one main zombie, one big zombie that's gonna come through and, and wreak havoc on your life. He'll lock down the perk machine, he'll close down the box, so you have to pay to get that open again, so you don't want him to interfere with your process. Now's a good time to pick a fight. Why do you hurt me? So it's a fun challenge, it keeps things moving forward. In terms of perks, we have a new perk called Electric Cherry. When you reload, it gives a shock around, which scales over time. Who's asking for a beach ball? There is so much to experience in this map. Every time I play it, there's a new tactic to take a new experience, a new objective to go for. But there's also this layer of things that we aren't exactly exposing to the players right off the bat and will need to be discovered. So let me go. Is it the calling we hear? We've got the undead in there, we've got these historical elements and these fantastic actors all seem to be uh, with peace with each other in this kind of same world. So it's, it's magical, and our team is incredibly excited by it. They say a man is known by the company he keeps. I guess that's why they call me a mobster. I wanted bosses like Sal DeLuca to know my name. He built an entire empire on gambling, prostitution, and booze, right under the noses of the cops. Sal rarely got his hands dirty. That was my job. Ice him, burn him, so long as it made the headlines. And then there were the money handlers, like Al Arlington, if you can get past the greasy smile and the feeling that you were being conned out of your very soul, Arlington was your man. Finn O'Leary, he was the only guy I knew who could cheat a cheater and get away with it. He had a pretty starlet for a wife, too. Too bad she sold him up the river. That's how we ended up here. Alcatraz. They used to call it Evil Island. And we were about to find out why. 